I started voicing concern to, to try and stop it back in 2018. Shane Odin lives in Lake Stevens. When they replace it, they didn't meet compliance. And has a photo collection of curbs and crosswalks that he says are not compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Unfortunately, the ones that are out here are, are not compliant either. He took our camera on a tour of what he sees is terrible. This is not ADA compliant. There's no truncated domes, um, no landing. Um, same thing with all four of these. If they're not doing ADA compliance, it's not protecting the most vulnerable members of our community. The other thing is, is I knew that if it kept going, if it was a systemic issue, it could really put the taxpayers at a disadvantage for getting federal funds. He says that fear is becoming a reality. The fifth item is ADA compliance update. Earlier this month, it was a focus at City Hall. It informs you that the city received a letter from WashDOT uh, letting us know that uh, we have <clears throat> alleged non-compliance with Title II of ADA uh, and resulting in ineligibility for its Federal Highways Authority funding. City leaders said they plan to repair as many as 24 ramps next year. How does Washout have any jurisdiction over what goes on in downtown Lake Stevens? Back on this street, the repair list is long. This one would require the yellow truncated domes. It's a crucial feature for M and Deep Car, who wants audible crosswalks too. I'm totally blind and I'm totally rely on my cane. These improvements need to be done for people with disabilities. Odin says he's frustrated that city projects, some completed in recent years, now need to be replaced. This is going to cost us a lot of money, the taxpayers. A WashDOT spokesperson says it is the only non-compliance letter that the agency has issued. WashDOT does plan to work with the city to resolve these ADA issues. Live in Shoreline, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.